I grew up in Canada and uh, the goal of all Canadians is to play hockey. <laughs> and I never could play hockey. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to do something else. For Ottawa-born David Waits, something else would turn out to be far more than our short film can cover. From advancing the physics of glass and polymers, to revolutionary genetic sequencing technology, to commercial cosmetics, Waits' portfolio of accomplishments is impossible to summarize. And while a quick search of his professional CV turns up skating, it doesn't mention hockey once. I learned how to walk before I learned how to skate. And so in Canada, you can't play hockey seriously if you do that. Officially, Waits is one of Harvard's premier soft matter physicists. Soft matter being stuff you can deform. Plastic, toothpaste, potatoes, skin, and endless materials critical to our lives, down to the liquid crystals in our phone displays. That's the excitement of the field, that there's so many problems. In the 1970s, one standout problem for soft matter physicists was technically, their field didn't exist, at least not formally. After earning his PhD from Harvard in 1978, and joining Exxon to research science important to oil recovery, Waits helped establish the field, inventing groundbreaking new laboratory technology for studying soft materials, making contributions to our understanding of foams and gels. In 1995, he transitioned back to academia, where he continued innovating with fascinating technologies like microfluidics. So microfluidics is the manipulation of fluids at the micron scale. A human hair is 100 microns thick. The tubes in these miniature chip-sized plumbing systems can be far thinner. They allow weights to mix unmixable substances, like oil and water, with high precision. The system makes microscopic droplets of each ingredient. At this small scale, physics keeps the bubbles intact as they combine. The result is an emulsion that doesn't separate. At the time, people said there's no way you could make enough material that you could actually do something practical. You made every droplet separately, one by one. Waits responded by engineering a system that could produce at commercial scales, selling a revolutionary skin moisturizer to cosmetic giant Chanel. With the magic of microfluidics, Waits also created a trailblazing new way to sequence the DNA of individual cells, one by one, at high speed. There's so much more. Lab on a chip technology that can manufacture personalized drugs at a patient's bedside and rapid disease testing devices with lab-level accuracy. Waits has helped found 26 companies touting unique advancements in science and biotech. Around campus, Waits is known for creating one of Harvard's most famous courses. I remember when it started, a postdoc came to me and said, he'd like to invite Ferran Adria to visit Harvard. And I said, well, who's he? He said, he's the best chef in the world. Two hours before the talk, there were so many people in the room that we had to get the police to clear out the aisles. The guy was basically a rock star. Waits seized onto the idea that he could generate interest in physics through food, and science and cooking was born. Each week features a celebrity chef and a follow-up lecture on the relevant soft matter physics. Today, it is a Harvard phenomenon. Waits' journey is far from over. Every new discovery brings new questions, and in those questions, Waits finds the next steps. I do this not in a vacuum. I do this with students and with postdocs. My motto is I'll say as late as the last student. People will say I work hard, but you know, as I say, if I, if I had to work, I'd be retired. So I just have fun hard. 